Hey there, I'm Dan, the self-proclaimed Lonely Rocker. Thanks for joining me for the inaugural episode of Learning with Lonely Rocker. This is a series of sponsored tutorial videos where I work directly with the developers and manufacturers of different products to help teach you how to use them. In this video, I'm here to show you Power Shaper from Voxango. This is a great multi-stage saturation plugin that will find uses all across your projects. Now, if you've discovered this video on YouTube, it's a great way to discover a product that you may not have heard before, but perhaps you're already on the Voxango website, just purchase your plugin and want to learn how to use it. Well, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump in and check out Power Shaper from Voxango. Shaper from Voxango is a really simple yet versatile tool that delivers multi-stage saturation, distortion, and overdrive and will find a place all over your sessions, especially on your drum tracks. Let's take a look at the different features of the plugin. Power Shaper is divided into three main sections, saturation, variation, and out in meter. Let's start with the saturation section. Here you'll find three controls. Drive controls the overall amount of saturation. Makeup gain is automatically adjusted as you add more drive. This plugin was not designed to be subtle, so you'll find noticeable results even at the lowest settings. Emphasis controls the gain emphasis in the different saturation stages. Lower settings will deliver gentler saturation, while higher values deliver a more aggressive result. The mode switch lets you choose from three predefined filters. This affects the smoothness of the saturation, with wide offering the most aggressive results. The bias setting lets you choose between transistor and valve saturation, with transistor engaging at lower values and valve saturation offered at higher values. The higher the setting, the more even the harmonics will be in the signal. Now let's move on to variation. You'll find two settings here. The boost setting is in essence an additional gain stage. Pushing this setting drives the plugin into oversaturation with a gentler saturation delivered at lower levels. The variation setting adds some internal randomness to the saturation, creating different colors and textures to your saturation. You'll find this most effective on drum tracks. The last section is the out in meter. Aptly named, it houses your output settings in meters. The dry mix knob lets you blend the clean signal with the affected signal. At zero, you are hearing 100% of the affected signal. At 100, you hear the dry signal. While the makeup gain is controlled by the algorithm when you adjust the drive setting, there is still some increase in gain as you add more drive, so you can offset this with the output volume as required. And you've got a simple output meter to make sure your levels coming out of the plugin are in check. In addition to the saturation settings, you have a few options in the toolbar. You can create two different saturation effects and compare them by toggling the AB buttons, and you can access an assortment of presets here. Let's take a look at a couple of examples to see how Power Shaper's parameters work. I'm going to focus on just a couple of elements uh, of this mix just to give you an idea of what Power Shaper can do. Uh, so let's have a quick listen to the, uh, the whole thing. All right, so let's have a look at, listen to the snare drum dry. So what I'll do is I'll start uh, pushing up the drive just so you can get a sense of the, uh, the saturation. As I've said, the algorithm automatically adjusts the makeup gain, but there still is a bit of an increase. I'm going to show you a bit later how we can compensate for this. So on the emphasis setting, as I said, you've got the narrow, medium, wide. These are filters. Uh, so let's uh, let's start. Uh, let's put it in medium because I think uh, the effects will be more obvious here. Take a look at it in wide. Now I said now the bias setting uh, lets you switch between a, a transistor s saturation or valve saturation. So let's just sweep through that a little bit and see what it does.
So you can hear the transistor saturation is definitely far more aggressive. You get a little more smoothness as you move it up the dial. Now I'll take a look at the, the variation settings. We'll play around with the boost. where you'll get that oversaturation. But you're not really increasing the overall saturation, just an adjustment within the saturation that you've set in the saturation settings. In the dry mix setting uh, at zero, you're listening to the signal 100% affected, and then basically at 100, you're, you're canceling the effect. So we can just mix that into taste. And as we are getting a bit of a gain boost, then you can use your output gain just to adjust a little bit. Let's listen to that in context. Here's a bypass. hear how much more definition the, the snare drum does have with Power Shaper engaged. I'm just going to back off on the drive a little bit. Here's a bypass. So you can really see how saturation alone can really create some character in that snare drum and find a place for it in the mix without having to go and reach for the fader and increase the volume. So it's a really great tool in this case. Okay, so let's have a little bit of fun with the bass guitar now. And I think we're gonna to get to see some of the other features at play here. Let's take a listen. So this bass guitar was recorded direct. There's no other processing in the DAW, uh, just the straight signal. I'll start with the drive. Let's make it real nasty. Compensate a bit for the output, the output key. show the emphasis setting here because I think you'll really hear it here in the bass guitar. I'm going to set this to wide. This will get the most aggressive distortion. So you can now really hear what this setting is doing. And in the bias setting, like I said, transistor being on the, the lowest setting and valve saturation being at the top, you'll find it gets smoother the higher you go. You can see the difference there. So it rounds it off nicely here, a little bit cleaner, but you still have that aggression and bite. Here's a before and after. Now we'll move over to the variation settings. Again, if you want to roll off some of that aggressiveness, you can just lower the boost setting a bit. Or if you want to bring out some more of that bite, then you just push it a bit higher. And to create more randomness in the saturation, you can just increase the variation. Let's put it back in context.
There you have Power Shaper from Voxango. I hope this tutorial video helped you get started. Uh, there's nothing like getting your hands on it and uh, see what it can do for your tracks, but uh, it's a pretty simple plugin to use and uh, just pop it on there, use your ears, and I'm certain you're going to come up with some really great results. Uh, happy to answer any questions if you want to navigate to the comment section of this video. Uh, certainly you can contact support at Voxango. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to hear from you. And uh, if you learned something, I hope I've earned to subscribe for my efforts. And uh, above all else, I hope I'll see you again in another video.